flex clamp. It snapped right off right there. Hmm. Well, I hope if they fail, they fail right away because I really don't want to have them breaking later. Never had that happen. Hmm. We'll see. Laundry room is almost done. I haven't done, I haven't finished up a couple things. Number one, I bought these little PEX fittings. These are wrong, these are one inch PEX fittings. It's supposed to be three quarter inch. I read the bag, I looked at the thing through the clear plastic on the bag and just, I don't know, I don't know why I thought it needed a one inch PEX fitting there, but it needs to be three quarter inch. It's one inch coming out of this and coming up, it's gonna tee off into three quarter, go into the hot water heater, and then out the hot water heater into the wall. There's a couple other things I need to get. I need to get this little plug for the hot, uh, this is for the dryer. We have an electric dryer. So I need to get the plug to plug, to wire that plug so I can plug my dryer in. I need to drill a hole for the intake slash exhaust of this hot water heater. It goes right through the wall, and this big tube goes right through the wall. I've also got to drill a hole for this drain pan to drain out the wall. But I don't want to drill those until I get the siding put on. That way I'm not trying to line up a hole. I can just put the siding on, and drill the holes, and plug everything through. So I also thought about putting a ball valve right here. Just something I can turn the water off. If I had more room over here, I'd, turn, I'd put a ball valve over here also. to turn the water off on both sides, change the filter out, put the new filter in, turn the water back on. I don't have a lot of room over here, and I, if I move this, this direction any further, it's gonna get in the way of this propane line and whatever fittings they have over here. So I, I'm gonna put an on-off valve over here. As far as the water coming into the house, I have an on-off valve underground outside by the frost free. It's about 25, 30 feet away, so if I turn the water off here and turn the water off out there, I'm only draining about 25 to 30 feet of water line to change this filter out. Being as I can't get any more done on this room, let's go upstairs to that bathroom, start working on it. We've got to have one bathroom completely done. Since our master bathroom, it'll have a toilet and a sink, but it won't have a shower. So we've nominated this bathroom as our bathroom to get done first so we can get moved in. The county isn't making us finish the master bathroom or some other things to get a, a final, like a final move in. There's certain things you don't have to have done, but one of them is a complete bathroom. So we're going to get up here and we're going to put all the outlets, light switches, light fixtures. We've got a bathroom heater, little wall heater down there. We've got a light switch and a fan or a light and a fan. But the light switches over here we need to do too. I've also got the flooring for in here, but before the flooring's gonna go down, I've got some Red Guard. This is Red Guard. Waterproofing and crack prevention membrane. It says so right there. That's how I know what it is. 
That's three and a half gallons of Red Guard. That is plenty to do this little room and come out here into this room. I'm gonna try and do as much preventative maintenance as I can to the bathrooms in this house. Mainly this one upstairs. Anytime you're dealing with water, you're gonna have a leak at some point. If I'd have known about Red Guard before I put the bathtub in, I would have covered all this plywood underneath the bathtub, sealed everything. I just hadn't heard of it until now. So I'm gonna do the best I can, use caulking around the edges, get that PVC, it was a PVC baseboard instead of the, the wooden baseboards. We'll get the PVC baseboards for in here just to help seal it off, hopefully keep any water from getting through our laminate floor. And we've also got a, it's a vinyl laminate floor. It's supposed to be waterproof. It's got like a click lock system and guaranteed to be waterproof. But I'm, I'm a little, uh, what do they say, skeptical about how waterproof a flooring can be when it's clipped together in so many different places. So that's why the red guard's coming out. Even though they say I don't need to do anything to this plywood floor to put that laminate on and have it be waterproof. I'm going to go ahead and put that red guard in place. So hopefully if water spills outside the bathtub or outside the, the toilet overflows, anything happens in here, it's not getting down to my plywood and then getting down to my four by eight floor joists. If my four by eight floor joists rot out, we've got a major problem in this house. Those, I don't know how you'd replace one. I really don't. I know the traditional house you'll have, some type of floor joist in there and you can go in and splice them together and work with them. Four by eight floor joists are gonna be kind of hard to do that with. So we're gonna do the best we can to prevent this house from having any water damage. I that one anyway. Well, most of it's done. Got the light switches, outlets, little cadet wall heater, this light over here, <laughs> and the bulb I dropped. The bathroom light, the bathroom fan. I can't finish that. I can't wire that in. It's got a, the wires coming out, but I didn't put one of those little clamps on it and I can't get that box out now because I actually screwed it into the, the rafters or the little studs up there. So I've got to find a little rubber grommet or something that can go around that hole so it doesn't eat away at the wires. So I'll add that to the list of stuff I need to get next time I go to the home store. As far as the red guard goes, I'm not gonna, not gonna get a chance to get to that today. 
I still need to sweep up in here, really clean the floor off real good before I put that down. And uh, there's just not enough daylight left in the day, guys. The sun's starting to go down and it's starting to get a little dark in here. I wanna make sure I get a nice, thick, even coat on that floor so I'm not missing any spots. We'll save that one for tomorrow. We'll also get a chance to get in the master bathroom tomorrow. I gotta clean up those outlets. That is the one room that I had to primer and texture and paint that I actually put the outlets in. I wasn't thinking quite right that day, just getting ready to, I was just putting a whole bunch of light switches and outlets in. There aren't a whole lot to do. I think there's only two outlets and two light switches. One of these days I'm gonna to need to do a, a cleanup day. I've been making a mess all over the place. We've got boxes everywhere, the little wrappers from the outlets and the outlet covers. It's just, I just rip the outlet covers out, toss the wrappers on the ground and keep going. Figure I'll sweep it all up later, but it's starting to make a pretty good mess. So I think I'll get on the uh, red guard and the master bathroom tomorrow and then start sweeping up the whole place. Until next time, guys, go make something.